Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made these delicious Tex-Mex stuffed bell peppers. So let's get to cooking. First, I'm gonna take some bell peppers and cut the tops and remove the seeds. I placed them on a baking sheet with some parchment paper and I've sprayed olive oil and sprinkled some salt on all three, inside and out. And now I will put them in the oven at 375 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. And here I'm cooking up about a pound of a ground beef. This is in a nice hot pan and I'm not adding any extra fats to this. So while cooking the beef, I've added salt and pepper, some cumin, paprika, the minced garlic, and a dash of cayenne pepper. You will season this to taste. Once I'm satisfied with how the meat is cooked, I am going to be removing it with a slotted spoon, leaving behind some of that fat in my pan. And I'm gonna be placing it aside in a little bowl. I have diced up an extra small bell pepper, and here I have an onion that I sliced and then diced, and that was about a quarter of a large onion. And this will go all into that hot pan with the rendered fat from the ground beef, and we're going to saute it for a couple of minutes. By the way, my bell peppers were in the oven for 15 minutes, and then I decided that they needed another five. So all together, they were in the oven roasting for 20 minutes. And here I have a bag of frozen cauliflower rice. This one happens to be a Spanish style. Of course, you can use just plain cauliflower rice. I'm gonna go ahead and microwave it according to the package directions. All right, so now the onions and the bell pepper have sauteed, so I'm gonna take those out and put them in with my meat and mix it all up. And to that same pan, I'm going to add this 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. And I'm gonna saute them for just a couple of minutes. Tomatoes are done, and I did season them with all the same items that I used for the ground beef. Now, if you don't have all those seasonings, you could use a package of taco seasoning. The cauliflower rice is done, so I'm placing that at the bottom of a baking dish. So just gently spread that out. Next, I am stuffing the bell peppers with the ground beef, onions, and bell pepper mixture. And then these will be gently placed inside my baking dish on top of the cauli rice. Now the one pound of ground beef is enough to fill up four of these medium to large bell peppers, but I only had three and one extra small one. So that's what got chopped up within the meat and the onions. So any leftover meat, I'm actually just going to sprinkle it around on top of the cauliflower rice. Next, I'm gonna take these tomatoes and put some on top of each of my bell peppers. Anything left over, I'll sprinkle around. Now I'm going to be using this shredded cheese. It is a Monterey Jack with jalapeno peppers and mild cheddar. Of course, you can use whatever cheese you want. And if you want to opt for a different seasoning, you can go Italian on this instead of this Tex-Mex seasoning that I've been using. And now I'm topping each of my bell peppers with a generous amount of cheese. I'm not going to worry about what falls on the sides. This is going to go back into the oven, but this time I have it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and everything is already cooked. So basically what I want is just to melt the cheese and get everything at back up at a nice heat so we can enjoy this dinner. All right, everyone. So my bell peppers are out of the oven. They took about seven minutes for this cheese to melt. So these are now ready to serve, eat. You can top them with whatever you want, sour cream, guacamole, some lettuce, some extra salsa if you want. So I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind of comment down below and let me know what you think of my recipe today. I hope you're enjoying all of my videos, so please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share your social medias and as always, enjoy.